Hello, my name is Mark Omar and I'm a teacher and I just want to show you how you can use Google Drive um, and the forms in particular to make a collaborative resource um, that you can easily use with students. So I guess I'm expecting this mostly to be seen by teachers. So I'm going to create a new form. Now a new form is a bit like a survey, but I actually like to think of it as a um, structured questionnaire. So let's say we're doing, you know, motivation in, um, you know, spot run spot or run spot run now obviously I'm being silly here because I don't want to go through an entire novel but so first of all which character are you talking about about so I'm gonna make it multiple choice so they can be talking about spot they can be talking about Sally or they can be talking about spots dad and I can't actually remember the name of spots dad so I'm going to make that mandatory and then I'm going to actually I'll click that in error and that's a required question. So which character are you talking about? I'm going to add a new item. Um, what action did this character do? Now this all probably sounds fairly silly to you at this point but um, bear with me. So that's a text question. It's required. They pop it in. Thirdly, another text one. What does this tell us about this character's motivation? Now, I could have that as a multiple choice. I could have that as a longer paragraph test. I could, you could choose multiple things, you know. In fact, why don't we have a go at that? So, multiple choice, actually. Check boxes. So, they are selfish, uh, they are selfless, you know, um, they are impulsive, and so on. So, and then I'm just going to ask for the student's first name, so that I'm not putting too much data up on the internets. So, and that's it. And so there is a quick survey. So that's all, that's already exists. So I press live form, and that's a link I can put into my student management system, into my learning management system. I can put it in on a blog. I can put it on Edmodo. You name it. What's the other one called? There's another one that's really popular, but Moodle. So then you give it to students, and they go through and say, "Okay, I'm talking about Spot. What did he do? He ran away, and this tells us that he is selfish. And my name is Mark, and I submit." And so students could go through a huge text and they could go through and they could analyze characters, they could make comments on them, you've got it in a structured way. And importantly, if I go up here, I can actually see the responses and I can share this document with students too. And it is going to show me what everybody said. So I could sort that, I could say, okay, if I want to write about spot, I can sort by character. If I want to write about just when people are being selfless, I can do that. If I want it just by a particular student, I can sort by that. Now, obviously, you can go in and edit this, by the way, in case people put in inappropriate responses. But this is a really good way to build up a resource, you know, a quote bank or basically a crowdsourced analysis that people can use to actually have a more sophisticated response to the text. Uh, and you also, and you're probably not going to use this, but you can actually see a summary of responses and it'll actually graph some of the information for you where that's possible. So, you know, you might actually have a look at that as just a quick snapshot of your data. So, for, you might need to watch this again, but it's certainly a powerful tool for getting students not just visible thinking, but a resource that they can practically use, which answers that why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this to give you more information at your fingertips so you can write a better response. You will need a Google account for this, as you can see, but um, you know, lots of people have them and they're free to have. So I hope that's useful too.